Yo, Corona Crew, how's it going? Um, I was doing okay for a while there, uh, but yeah, I just, I don't even know what's happened. I, was, I can't even say I've been busy. I've done hee-haw, but here we are. I'm reading um, Pawn of Prophecy. Prophecy. It's the Belgariad by Dave Eddings. And yeah, I'm almost done the first one. Got the second one teed up. I'm about to give it half an hour just now and see if I can uh, get that finished. But yes, that's what's been happening. What else happened since I last told you, saw you guys? Uh, I sold an uh, early Harry Potter book that I had by a c publishing company called Ted Smart, not the original Bloomsbury. But um, yeah, uh, I sold it 600 quid, no problems. And uh, I was <laughs> one sold last, last week, two days ago, three, four days ago, for 215 pounds. And I was thinking about chucking a bid in on that. So I'm pretty chuffed. Either either the person who got that book for 215 got themselves a deal or the guy who bought my one is an absolute lunatic. I don't know. But um, yeah, so with that money, anyway, I spent some of it on this watch. Uh, let me take it off. It's a Seiko SKX009. And I wanted to get one of these because they've discontinued the uh, SKX line. The 007 SKX is the kind of the the main one in the this this is shitty. This light here um, is the main one in the series, or not the main one, but it's the first one. If you see what I mean, it's all black, and then the 009. The one I have is the blue. It's actually blue. It looks black and red, but it's blue. Navy. But yeah, I'm really chuffed for this. My first dive watch. Um, first of many, hopefully. First dive watch. Uh, I'm also going to say full automatic. It doesn't have a wind, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah. It's super nice. And then I got this watch strap from Watch Gecko Zulu NATO strap. It came on on a big uh, resin band that I that I did wear, but it was just too girthy. I couldn't handle its girth. So I swapped out for this guy. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I've been wanting one of these for ages. And now I have one, and I've still got 400 quid left over. Which I'm thinking about buying another watch with, but we'll see. Um, I got in touch with my comic book company today, Comic Biz, they're called, in London, I think. Um, just asking them what's going on, because diamonds just aren't saying anything. Like, our DC still... Well, our comic companies... I don't even know what the writers are doing. I've not properly looked, but like nothing, there's been nothing said loud enough that I've heard without looking for it. And I'm, I've got fairly on social media. I've got a lot of like, I follow a lot of comic book related companies. So you would think I would have heard. Jesus, I made that difficult. Um, but yeah, I just, I just don't know what's going on. Are they still like? Are the writers still writing? Even like, I don't know. And I don't know what's going to happen when Diamond start publishing again. Uh, sorry, start shipping again. Are, are there going to be a backlog of books or are they just going to start? So like say Batman was on what, 93 or something. Uh, is 94 going to come out? Or is 94, 95 and 96 going to come out? How are they doing that? I don't know. I don't know. These are all worries that I have. Cheers. It's not worries. I just hate not knowing. But yes. Um, what else is happening? Absolutely nothing. I'm waiting for books. I'm waiting for watches. I'm waiting for watch straps. I need loads of things. And the mail is failing me every day. But it looks like everybody's safe. There was less, the first drop in hospital admissions today in the UK. So that's good. Um, 
yes, so I hope everybody's safe. Um, and that's that's it. That's all I've got. Have another look at this. Peace.